And what I didn't know was he had immediately begun to groom me. I was in a chat room and somebody messaged me who I thought was a boy around my own age. I was so shy as a child. I was the kid who didn't raise their hand in class or like order food on the phone. I was always very nervous and just very shy. And online, I didn't feel like I had those barriers that I had to break through. I felt that I could be more comfortable with myself. Grooming is really quite simple. It's just pretending to be a child's friend and telling them what they want to hear versus what they need to hear. And it's so hard to be a kid. Kids don't feel like they're beautiful enough, handsome enough, fit enough, wealthy enough, this enough, that enough. And a predator's goal is to make them feel like they are enough and that they are understood and that now this is the person who connects with them the most. Okay, tips we can give parents and kids right now, okay, to uh, avoid the kind of problems that they could face. So let's let's talk about teenagers. How can, how, how can we do that right now? Absolutely. So first, you must talk to your children about online dangers. I know it seems uncomfortable at times, but you have uncomfortable conversations with your kids all the time. This is just another uncomfortable conversation. You have to have this conversation. You have to have it early. And not that you have to have it every day, but you have to have it as your child grows because you may have, oh my gosh, I've seen children in strollers watching YouTube videos. Like kids are really young on these devices now, but as they get older and they have more, more freedom online, you need to continue to have those conversations. And the conversation that you would have with a young child as compared to a teenager would be different. The other thing you have to do is you have to educate yourself. Sit down and go through everything you can about online safety and the different applications. I know it's daunting. I know that there is an endless supply and it is a rabbit hole of information, but you need to sit down and do it. The next thing is to monitor what your children are doing online. And I know that that may seem, okay, well, I'm invading their privacy. And it's funny because when I started speaking out and I was a kid and I would talk about that, I would, my mom was always in the audience too. I'd be like, oh, kids deserve their privacy and blah, 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 blah. And now I sound like my mom and I'm like, who pays the bill? Like I, I say all the things my mom said, but it's so true is that you have to protect your child. And it's not about getting your child into trouble. It's about just keeping them safe. So you want to be able to pick up their device at any time and be able to go through it. So that when they come home from school, when they do this, when they do that, that you have the passwords, that you have the information. The next thing that is that you need to play with them. So go and say, hey, what is TikTok? Heck, make a video with them, make it fun, make it playful because they're doing these things because they enjoy it because it's fun. Try to be a part of that with them. But if they're also like, mom, go away or dad, go away. Don't be offended by that. And then when you're talking to them about online safety, I've had people who say, oh, I'm, I'm really scared to talk to my child about that because I don't want to terrify them. I don't want to make it so that they can't function in the world. And to talk about online safety and human trafficking, it's not to make them fearful. Yes, a healthy dose of fear is necessary. If you don't know what is dangerous, you can't protect yourself from it. You, I mean, think about the fact I'm, I'm looking at a tree outside of my window right now and it looks like super fun to climb. I know that if I climb that, which would be hysterical to watch, I know that if I fall down, I'm going to get hurt. If your kids don't know if they climb that tree, they fall down, they're going to get hurt, they're going to make mistakes and they're not going to pay as much attention. So it's not about fear, it's about empowerment. And when it comes down to it, they make the decisions online. They decide if they talk to that person or send that photo or block that person or meet that person or report to that person. It's all really within their realm and their choice. And if they want to do something, they're going to find a way to do it. So you want to empower them and give them options and the choices to make. And then the next and most important thing is to let them know that they can come to you with absolutely anything at all. When I do my presentations, I ask kids, hey, if you came across this or if somebody threatened you, would you tell your mom or your dad or your guardian? And so many of them say no. And it's so heartbreaking that they would rather try to solve it themselves. And that's because they're scared they're going to get into trouble, which is just an innate fear that children have with their parents. But their biggest fear is that you're going to take away their gaming system where yes, predators are. You're going to take away their cell phone. You're going to take away any device that they have and that you're going to take away their connection to the outside world and their friend and, and literally in some ways their universe. So you need to let your child know that they can come to you with absolutely anything at all. And it's not that they're in trouble. It's not that you'll be disappointed and it's not that you're angry. In fact, you are proud of them for coming forward. You are respectful of that and you think it's great. 
but that you can sit down and the point is that you solve the problem together and that they're not in trouble. Again, you are proud of them because this is happening to them and they need to know that they can ask for help. If you've enjoyed this episode of the podcast, I'd love you to click over here so you can see more episodes. Or if you click over there, you can subscribe. And every time we produce a new piece of content, it will be sent straight through to you. Oh, you might as well want to press the bell button while you're there too. Go on, give it a go.